Hey YouTube, this is NJ for Water 5 and the video I have for you coming right up after this little chat is a video of me taking this apart and testing. There's an Xbox 360 uh, power supply. This is the 175 watt version. I got it for $4.99 at a Goodwill. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna retrofit this to fit or to actually power uh, one of the ISDT power supplies or ISDT chargers that I have. Um, I've actually got a 750 watt uh, charger that I'll be retrofitting tomorrow or the next day that I'll be putting on camera too. But I figure this one's an easy and a quick. This one's an easy, quick, you know, video on throwing together a power supply. What I'm just gonna do is. Right now I'm just going to take this piece and I'm going to drill a little hole right here. I'm going to put a little switch. That switch is going to be connected to the red and the blue wire. That's the 5 volt line and the power sense wire. Uh, you just put the power on the middle pin and the sense wire on the top pin and it gives you the option to turn this power supply off and on whenever you need it. I could connect it to where I could have a USB coming out of here too, but I don't really have no use for another USB. So for right now, I'm just going to trim this, drill a hole in here, then I'm going to solder an XT60 connector to this, and I'm going to throw some of this over it to make it look good. And hopefully after I'm done, what I'll have is uh, a power supply that is 170 watts at 12 volts and 14.2 uh, amps. So uh, here's the video of me taking it apart and testing. Then after that, uh, I'll go directly into building this. And then after I'm done, uh, I'll be right back and we'll do some quick testing. All right, so what I had to do is I had to find a spot right about there that I could get this switch to fit. It barely fits right here. I mean, you gotta you gotta do some eyeballing. I guess. I mean. I didn't really do no measuring, I just kind of placed the switch in there to see where I would get the clearance. And it's really tight. Uh, also there's like a little uh, there's like a little groove right here where the board sits in before it sits down over here. And you gotta take this middle one off. And I just used my 
trusty old side cutting nippers to uh, trim it. Once you trim it, it's going to fit sort of like this. It's going to fit just like that. And that will clear the board and everything else. Uh, so what I've got to do next is I've got to figure out a way to solder that up. To these two wires and push them back inside to where they don't get in the way so that's what I'll be doing next I just wanted to do a quick update on this part right here I mean it's pretty simple it's a pretty quick and simple hack I guess so I drilled the hole right here only place on this whole thing it pretty much cleared and took out the plastic piece. I uh, looked it up online. There's another guy that done, did his the exact same way, but he used a different kind of switch. His was a little more spiffier. So now I'm going to try to figure out how to wire this up. I might take a peek at his and see how he did his. And then hopefully I come back with this solution.
All right, well, there we go. Looks like it's working. Shut it off. I guess the light stays uh, on, letting you know that it's powered. All right, guys, this completed Xbox 360 170 watt, 175 watt, 12 volt, 14.2 amp power supply. Simple little hack to add a switch on there. XT60 plug, I mean, under $5. Well, I bought the power supply for $4.99 from the Goodwill. And you're looking at maybe a quarter for the plug. Maybe a quarter for the switch. The switch, they're not that expensive. I mean, the other stuff I had salvaged. And there we go. I haven't really had a chance to use this meter. <laughs> All right, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching my video.